Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin from Margaret Franklin Creations. And I am walking home from physio and walking home from the post office. I have mailed two parcels to the states for lucky winners of the Blue Unicorn Contest. There are two more still waiting to go out to lucky winners. And I will let you know. Uh, I think you know who you are. I just might need to get a snail mail address. And today has been a real emotional roller coaster of a day. Almost thought our Niagara trip was going to be canceled. Oh, Jeanette showed me a really disturbing video about the Clifton Hill area, and it was packed. Hardly anyone social distancing or wearing masks. Shame on you guys. And I was also having a sore throat, and that was really scary. I thought, oh no, I hope I don't have the virus or even a cold. I don't want to be sick. And I slept until almost one today. And I finally got out of bed, and Jeanette phones me all upset. Her ultrasound was, well, not quite a disaster, but it was hell. Ultrasounds are hell at the best of time. I'll spare you the gory details. Uh, just feels like everything's been trying to attack us since we planned on going on this trip. Uh, her ex-boyfriend's mother has been really sick, and they're still good friends. What else is new? I'm working on my latest quilt. I am down to the 18th square. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 18 down, almost 18 down, seven more to go. Can I do it before September? Oh, I am feeling like I've been through a meat grinder. Today has been an exhausting day. And it doesn't help that it's not easy breathing through this mask, but you got to do what you got to do, and we'll get through this together. I made a dazzling wardrobe of colorful matching masks for my friend and I to wear while we're out there gallivanting and having a good time. Yep, we know when to social distance, and we will wear our masks, and we will rest when we need to. I hope that the pool will be open at our hotel. Uh, we just need to get away. I know this morning when I, it looked like we weren't going to, my heart just sank and the guy downstairs was playing his loud music. It was about 10.30, so there's really nothing we can do about it. And I'm thinking, am I not even gonna be able to get away from that? It's one of the things I'm looking forward to getting away from, at least for the time being. We need a vacation so badly. We desperately need a change of scenery. I know, I felt like my, I was losing heart when it came to packing. All my t-shirts are packed, all the underwear, most of them are purple, wonder why, <laughs> my favorite color, obviously, and my new bathing suit. I must pack the Angry Bird speakers so we have music in our room, and gotta pick out the outfits for the dolls like to take pictures of them in funny little places when we travel. And what else are we going to do? Well, I know I plan on enjoying a lot of good food, especially shrimp. And I wish I could still enjoy margaritas, but I can't drink because it messes with my meds. Let's see if I can get... I think Boston Pizza used to have really good virgin margaritas. Anyway, I will be taking video footage during my trip, but I am not really connected to any source, so I tend to go off the grid, so to speak, and you'll get to see all the rest of my awesome photos, videos, and everything else when I get back from my trip. I stopped at the drugstore on the way home from Physio, and I, like I said, I mailed those two parcels, and I, I bought some, some nice munchies for me and my hubby. Maybe if we watch a movie tonight, I got some nice, uh, crunchy coated peanuts like the kind I used to get in Holland. I think he'll enjoy that. Anyway, that's all I can think of to talk about for now. Oh, for brain sakes. Uh, I'm 
bye bye be back soon